welcome YouTube so I'm I'm really upset right now I I'm I want to share with you what happened I hired a notary in the LA area to do a notarization for me and um, the lady called me she, so I set it up you know and and uh, got him got her all set up for this guy to go down there and he says okay no problem so he goes down there and apparently the lady tells me it's one document and ends up being two documents not a not a huge issue okay so and and it has to these documents need to be apostied at the secretary of state so that's all good um I talked to the the notary and said, "Yeah, just let me know what the you know how many documents she has because she told me one and now it's then then she put on the form and there's three and so I I didn't know what she had so he comes back he calls me he says, "Yeah, there's two documents." Okay, great. So I pay him the difference for the other document and. Um, and then what happens is I receive the documents back. This guy can't drive right. So I, I, I see receive the documents back and notice, I check them out of course before I go to the Sacramento, and notice that the guy attached, on one document he attached an acknowledgement, okay? not a problem it's a california compliant acknowledgement i had no problem it looked all correct every had all the elements but then the second document that he notarized was a jurat and he notarized the document he just stamped the document it had the right language but didn't have the the box that's needed in California the little disclaimer box that's been there it's it's been required for like six years now I think yeah I think since 2015 or something so set cut seven years I guess now coming up on seven I, I don't know when it went into effect but anyway as before my time as a notary but the point is is here here so he misses that so that doesn't bother me. That is not an issue. I call him, hey, you need to correct this. This you didn't uh you didn't you didn't attach a loose certificate. So then I send him a, a picture of what he did. I tell him what was missing, and he comes back to me in an email. I, I really I have this email because I sent him a message, you need to get this corrected, you need to um, send me the original back, okay, and send it priority because I, I need it back now, and he wanted me to pay for a label, I'm like, well, I'm not going to pay for your mistake, he said, well, it's not my mistake, they didn't tell me that I needed, needed to put a another certificate on there, the client's supposed to do that, I said, no, the client is not supposed to tell you your job as a notary that if the certificate is wrong, you need to replace it with the correct certificate. And so I'm just, I'm upset because here, this guy is not a new notary, okay? He's been a notary for at least, he's coming up on four years because his, his commission expires next month, okay? So it's not like he's like brand new out of the gate. So I'm like... I'm just frustrated because he number one he doesn't believe what I'm telling him so I sent an email and said look at this handbook here's the page number and it talks about what's required on the certificate so he didn't reply I don't know if I'm gonna get that back or not I'm probably I'm, I might have to just pay another notary to go out there and take care of it because he's just given me the runaround here and I'm just I I I can see I can feel the pain this isn't a huge pain it's one document but 
when I hear about notaries not going back and correcting mistakes for loan documents, I can see how a signing service or title company can be frustrated because the notary won't correct the mistakes that, that they're doing, okay? So if it's your mistake, and even if you think it's not your mistake, it's best best business practice to go, go do whatever the, the client's telling you to do. Because right now, I'm not going to I'm not going to hire that guy ever again. He's off my list, okay? Uh you know, he can he could be he could be nominated by the NNA for all I care and I would never hire him again. Okay? I I'm just I'm I'm not happy about about this. I mean, this is not um this this is this is like notary 101 and this if you're not in California, it's it doesn't matter if you're in another another state. This goes for you as well. You need to know your your notary laws. You need to know what kind of certificate, what it looks like, what needs to go on a document. So when you get a get a certificate that's that's not compliant with your state or 100% compliant, that you're going to go, "Hey, I'm going to have to replace it." Okay? It's very common knowledge, especially here in California. In your state, uh, you might be like, hey, my state's loose. They can care less about whatever. As long as it says these words, we can do it. Okay, great. That's great in your state and great that you know that. But here in California, it's very stringent. They have so many regulations on how things have to be worded and done and so forth that you better you better know that information if you're going to be a, a notary, a good notary. I mean, I guess you could be a bad notary and you don't know that that kind of stuff and then you're you're going to be doing the kind of the things that this guy's doing so i'm really i'm i'm really wondering if i should even contact the secretary of state and say hey this guy is not doing things right but i'm i'm giving him the benefit of the doubt i'm trying to work with him to educate him because i'm not malicious in anywhere anyway i mean i'm not I'm not trying to get him, you know, to not be a notary ever again or be reprimanded by the Secretary of State. That's not my goal. It's just for education. But if you're going to be so prideful that you can't, you can't look at it and go, oh, okay, I see that, you know, you didn't like my handwriting. It wasn't clear enough or something and you want me to... Uh, redo the certificate or whatever, whatever it is, you know, whatever the case may be, do whatever the, whatever the client's telling you to do. And in this case, it was a notary, notary law problem. You know, I mean, it's the, it's a requirement to have these things on the certificate. So it's not, it's not like he, uh, you know, something did something really off the wall or some or something minor like I'm not complaining about oh you your uh, stamp is uh tilted or something you know I don't I don't care about that stuff okay um I just I just want it done done right so that's my rant for today I just I just wanted to share with everyone that you know look at those those uh videos on YouTube that talk about notarizing documents properly. I have one there. Uh, you know, it's not in depth, but really what it comes down to, it's not watching videos. It's reading your notary handbook and understanding the laws. And if you, if you have a problem or understanding something, find somebody in your state that can mentor you or can work with you and say, and you can run questions by them, simple questions that you could say, Hey, um, is this right? You know, and I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, don't, you're going to find a notary that is going to help you. Okay. Usually notaries help people. Okay. If you, if you get laughed at when you go and ask a notary that, that's not somebody you want to associate with. Okay. You want somebody that's going to help you, help you succeed because if you succeed, they will succeed. Okay. Because if they hire you, you're going to do it right. Okay, and vice versa. If you hire them, you know, you're going to be able to work together. And that's what it comes down to, being able to 
work together. They're, they're our colleagues, okay? So that's, that's why I'm, I'm sharing this information because maybe somebody here, in particular California, I call you up and you're gonna remember my video and you'll be like, I better check that stuff, you know? Um, so, cause now, now I'm doing stuff all over the state. So, you know, it's more critical to me to make sure that you're doing your job right. Because I, of course, before I was doing everything myself and I can, you know, make sure I do things properly because I'm doing it myself. And that's, what's awesome when you're doing apostate work, you can notarize the document for the person and you know it's going to be accepted at the Secretary of State. But if you don't do the notarization, then you're you're out of luck. You have to you have to get it back, check it out, and you know figure it out if it was done right. And I should have had the guy take a picture and send it over, but I'm not I'm not into uh, it's one document, you know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing loan documents and and say, hey, fax your whole loan back. But now, for for apostate work, I am going to do that. I'm going to make people do it. And um, sorry, that's the way it's going to be. So, everybody have a great Saturday. It's Saturday today, and I'm going to I'm going in to get some documents prepared for the fingerprinting class it's happening on Wednesday if you're in, still interested or if you're interested in fingerprinting if you're in the area in-person class there's still some space available if you want to do the zoom call still space available on that I'm going to get the documents made up right now and hope to see you there on Wednesday 10 to noon Pacific time Thanks. Have a great day.